welcome back to my film and TV channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And we have a romantic comedy. Yes, a Christmas vibe with this one as it's Christmas 2023. Near enough as I'm recording this and I'll get this review out onto YouTube before Christmas. So we're going to have a look at a Christmas film that's... Uh, uh, split opinions, I think, this one. Uh, it's not the most fantastic of films. And to be honest with you, my opinion changed while I was watching it. So let's uh, let's see what the people are thinking and what I'm thinking about this one. It's simply called Xmas. E-X-M-A-S. Xmas, yes, you can see what they've done there. I think there's been one or two films using that sort of, uh, sort of basis over the last few years. So we're going to have a look at that today. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, everything film and TV, reviews like this, information vlogs. There's even a Christmas quiz, guys. So as I'm recording this, it's due to go out in a couple of days. So uh, keep those buttons pressed so you know when it's around. See how well you know the 2023 Christmas movies. So, uh, yes, uh, look forward. Well, hopefully you'll look forward to that, guys. I, I like doing it. I enjoyed doing it. It was uh, good fun. And if you are new to the channel, if you can give us a like, guys, give us a, a little thumbs up and leave us your comments on this film or anything to do with film and TV. And I will respond accordingly or give you a thumb up as well if I agree with what you say. Or if you don't agree with what you say, I, I, I respect your opinion as long as you're constructive and not horrible, which I'm sure you won't be. Right, Xmas, a 12 certificate, 93 minutes, it's fine. A director by Jonah Feingold. This stars Leighton Meester, yeah, not totally new faces, one or two old familiar faces, some are perhaps not too familiar with. Leighton Meester, Robbie Amell, Michael Hitchcock, Kathy Greenwood, Veronica Sloviskowska and Stephen Hoy. And it's released, yes, on Amazon Freebie. So this is one where you watch it and you get a few ads in it as well. But there's, there's not too many ads, so it's not too bad. It's not like watching satellite TV where the ads go on for about five minutes. So it's okay, it's fine. I don't mind. I don't, I've don't. not watched a lot on it. I've watched a few things on it. And this was released on November the 17th. So this recording, I'm doing this on December the 18th. So it took me a month to realise it was on there. But uh, we got around to watching it. What's it about? Well, Graham decides to surprise his family by Travelling home for Christmas. There's a song in there somewhere, isn't there? Only to discover that his ex fiance Ali, is the guest of honour. Shocking, shocking. Well, he did say he wasn't coming home. What does he expect? Rotten Tomatoes critics didn't like it very much. 40% positivity from 15 critics. So not fantastic. That's six fresh, but nine rotten. So at least he got half a dozen fresh. 5.4 out of 10 was the average score. Rotten Tomatoes audience, so the, the, uh, the public of Rotten Tomatoes, they liked it. Yeah, they liked it a lot better. Uh, all right, not fantastic, but it got a 60% positivity and overall got a score of 3.4 out of 5. So if I, my maths is correct, that's 6.8 out of 10. So that's not too bad, is it? But Internet Movie Database, about the Joe Public, well, we've got over 3,500 scores and reviews left on Internet Movie Database. And to be honest with you, it's not a disaster. 5.8 out of 10, which is a little bit below the 6 out of 10 I like to see. But, uh, you know, there's, there's potential, there's potential. I'm reading through the reviews, yeah, a lot a lot of low scores and then mixed in with high scores. So, a bit bar marmite, we say here in the UK. I don't know what you say where you are, but that means uh, you sort of like it or you don't, basically. There's no, no real in-between with this film, I don't think. And yes, as for me, well, I'm with the Rotten Tomatoes audience. I'm not with the Rotten Tomatoes critics and I'm not with the slight majority of the internet movie database users. I thought the length was perfect, 93 minutes. All right, the ending ends. You could have done without a little bit at the end because it sort of takes it a little bit further at the end. You think, well, there's no need for that. It could have just finished and all hunky-dory. But uh, you'll see what I mean if you watch the film. And I think sometimes... It's an odd thing, isn't it? I think sometimes you have to be in the correct mood. Not that I'm not in a mood to watch Christmas films. I enjoy films, whatever subject it is. But uh, I sort of like this, despite the obvious plot lines and outcomes that we've seen many, many times before. There's nothing... You know what's going to happen, basically. There's a couple of things thrown at you that you don't expect. A couple of poignant moments that you're bound to get. but Or serious moments that I thought had really pushed it to realms of, of sadness at one stage. But uh, it turned out okay. But again, you'll know if you watch the film. 
I do like to invest in characters and these did grow on me even though I didn't really like them at first. Some people in the in the reviews are saying they just don't like the characters, horrible people, uh, didn't want to stick up for them but I sort of felt that early doors but then um, the the humour, the, the sarcasm, uh, the obvious subtle little lines, little throwaway lines I found quite, uh, quite interesting and, f and funny at times um, but as I said early doors I did struggle. It's one of those films perhaps if I hadn't been reviewing it, um, and I thought, or, or thought of reviewing it, because sometimes I watch a film and if I turn it off, I'll just put it on Twitter that I didn't like it. Simple as that. But, yeah, it sort of grew on me. Uh, although I said early doors, I thought, I'm not going to like this. But it, as it, as it, as it, it sort of wore me down. I think it wore me down. I think the chemistry between the leads, again, I thought it was excellent, but other people have been saying it's rubbish. But I thought it was, you know, the comedic element of it was, was excellent. I say I'm not. Overly, I have seen them before, the two leads in this, but uh, it was just a, a pleasant surprise. And people are comparing this, say, to a Hallmark movie. And uh, for me, it's certainly better than any Hallmark movie I've seen, or certainly 99.9% .9 of them anyway. And, of course, it's on this freebie channel, which is uh, nothing, really. It doesn't cost you anything. It's freebie. That's why it's called freebie. So I think this is one of the best films I've seen. As I said, I've not seen a lot, but I think this is one of the best films I've seen on the freebie channel since it started. I think there's a laid-back feel to this that would have turned people off, and as I said, came very close to turning me off initially. But oh, as, it, as it sort of went along, it grew on me, and it was uh, just good enough to be a pleasant surprise as, as a nice little Christmas film. I'm not going to say I'm going to return to it and watch it every Christmas, but if someone said they fancied watching it, uh, I'd, I'd probably watch it again at some stage. As I said, looking at the reviews, it was a like it or hit. Not a love it. I don't think it was a, a film you could give a 9 out of 10. I have seen 9 out of 10s, but I don't think it was a film you could give that to. But, uh, yeah, it's sort of like it or hate it film. And, say, for 30 minutes, I was in the hate it corner. But uh, as time passed by, as I said, whether I'd cheered up in myself. And, but I think, I think just the way the film progressed... Uh, Made me like it by the end. So my scores, yes, I'm, I'm going to be fresh. I'm going to be fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm going to be positive on Metacritic. And I will give it my basic watchable score, which is, uh, if you watch my vlogs, is 6 out of 10, which is only a couple of point, point two higher than Internet Movie Database. And I totally agree with the Rotten Tomatoes audience. It's, it's certainly watchable. But uh, give it a chance. Give it a chance, guys. Give it, give it 40, 30, 40 minutes before you turn it off. Because uh, I can sort of well imagine people turn it off after 10 or 15 minutes. Because it, it is a bit of a sluggish, ordinary, seen it all before start. But um, it, it's, worth, it's worth sticking with it, uh, just for the nuances in it. Let me know what you think, guys. Great. It'd be, it's all opinions, isn't it? It would be boring if we all thought the same thing. Let me know what you think great to hear from you to so meet again the next one thing don't I please stay safe everyone and happy Christmas because this is going to go out definitely before Christmas I can't always do that with these reviews because I never know some when some are going to go out but this one will so happy Christmas see you all again soon bye for now